Mm-hmm. All right, and Susan Allen here today with uh, my good friend Amanda Archibald from Field to Plate fame. Amanda has uh, been our feature speaker here, my co-presenter on the culinary piece that we've added to our Level 2 training, our Certificate, certificate of Training program, and we are just thrilled to death with uh, what Amanda has brought to this program because it is not your grandmother's culinary anymore, folks. This is a whole new ball game. Not only that, it seems to be such an amazing match to the IFMNT training that we're getting here and uh, people are blown away they really are and I think that the, there's two main questions that I keep getting over and over and we thought well why not just uh, uh, put it in a little video here so we can have you see for yourself uh, the questions that I keep getting Amanda are um, and by the way, welcome, Amanda. I'm just it's okay, talking. I'm here. Thank I'm talking you. to you like you're not there, but you are. I'm really here. Uh, and, uh, thanks, thanks for joining us tonight, and thanks for uh, helping provide this clarity to our folks here. Uh, the questions that we mostly have are, uh, how, is, how is this culinary different, and why do I need it? How... You know, I, I have, I'm a dietitian. I have a culinary background. I know what that is already. Uh, so how is this going to be any different than what I've had before? And, 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 and how is it specific to this training any different than any culinary uh, advice that I already give? So I thought, who better than to, uh, than to give us the scoop but you yourself, Amanda. So uh, you're the expert here, and I hand it over to you to give us the scoop. Well, thanks, Susan. It's, it's been such a delight to have worked with you since the very beginning, to be honest with you. Um, I went through Susan's training when it was first launched because I wanted to. I was so curious, and uh, like you probably found, it's been absolutely amazing, mind-changing, career-changing. Um, and when I went through that training, I talk to Susan about um, adding a culinary interpretation component because what I've seen in my career is um, that most of us are experts in nutrition and uh, providing nutrition advice to our clients. That's, that's what we're trained to do. The challenge is that where things drop off is kind of walking our patients or our clients through that no man's land, or I call it the synaptic gap of nutrition information and how we translate that to the plate. Because if we don't translate nutrition advice to the plate, it's simply advice. And you'll hear me say that over and over and over and over and over again. Nutrition advice without the culinary translation is advice. And so what I bring to this training is that that culinary translation piece, and I come at it from the perspective of the practitioner through the lens of the practitioner, the practitioner, the educator, who doesn't have a lot of time, to be honest with you. You're like doctors. There's not a whole lot of time, and yet, like I've told you, the translation piece, that last 10% is often the most important 10%, because otherwise your advice sits on the table. So that's what I focus on in my career, is looking at nutrition information through the lens of the professional and giving you the tools and the creativity and the resources to go that last 10 percent. Mm, so, absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. Well, I'm let's hear it. My slides here. I'm trying to try. You know, I cannot change my slides. No. <laughs> Us and our technology, Susan, and you know what? We're going to try and change my slides. And here they are to everybody. There you go. Just, we're going to just keep going on this All because right. it's, uh, technology is interesting for us. So, <laughs> you know, the bottom line, it just, it just to go through my quick slides here, is I feel passionate that this is our time as nutrition professionals. We're uniquely positioned, as I've noted here, to connect the dots between evidence-based science, nutrition, and the food that's our best medicine. It's in our lane. We have the training. We have the biochemical background. We know how to do this. Most of us, however, are not trained chefs. So, uh, you know, we, we feel, well, we can't possibly translate, you know, on, onto the table because that's not in our lane. And, of course, my slides want to get stuck again as I'm trying yeah. to change lanes here. Yeah, <laughs> we are just, you know, having so much fun with this technology. Well, well here we you are. Go. Our slides are on a delay, Susan. So, why is it that I could even talk to you about the culinary side of things? Have I worked with a lot of chefs? Yes. Did I go to the CIA? No. Are chefs my partners? Absolutely. Have I worked with Deborah Mass and Addison and John Turin? You bet. But really what I bring is a culinary translation part through the mind of the practitioner and the scientist that you are. So 
in the actual training, I'll talk to you a lot more about who I am, but just know I spend a lot of time on the culinary side partnering with people the, like the brilliant Susan Alley, Alan, working with Yale Yaffe and Nutrigenomics in South Africa, working with chef MDs like Mike Fenster and brilliant functional uh, medicine uh, professionals like Meryl Brandwine and Mary Jo Fishburn. So we do a lot in culinary, in live streaming, in practice. And yes, I do have a private practice. I tag team with Meryl Brandwine. So I can feel your pain <laughs> sometimes in how do we get through this last 10%. So what I'm presenting is not going to be, oh, let, let me just make something up, or, well, how do you know, Maddie, have walked in our, our, in our shoes? I have, trust me. So, what's the goal of the culinary training? It's to create and integrate culinary solutions to support and translate your expert functional nutrition advice. You do not have to be a chef. Most of us are not chefs. What we do need to know is understand what tools are available to us as functional nutrition practitioners and how we can use those in that last 10 minutes to, pervade, to create the solutions that are really going to make the difference between your, your actual patients healing and find that restorative place or just going round and round and round and round in circles in nutrition. So um, I can talk a little bit more here about what you're going to learn and give you some examples. But Susan, any perspective there before I uh, just kind of go into the last 20% uh, here? Well, I see, you know, I mean, this is, this is great. This is, I think, what people want to know is, uh, you know, obviously if, if our folks have taken our level one training, they're very familiar with the, with the uh, particular modules that you have listed over there on the right hand side. We've already touched on acid alkaline balance, inflammation, uh, detox, mm -hmm. cardiometabolic, and GI. Food sensitivities comes in there under a couple of different labels and, and that's uh, I think that's what's the exciting piece about learning IFMNT training. I think mm -hmm. I, I think that yeah if you could speak more to uh, without going into a bunch of detail here we just really want the top line but more to how uh, why this program is so unique in, in matching the culinary right. over to these particular areas. Right, and probably what you'll find, and I'll give you a probably example of it, is I'm not just going to give you a bunch of information. I'm going to give you the resource and translational tools that take that bring that culinary, that customized food aspect into your practice. But the other thing that you'll see ad nauseum that, <laughs> that people absolutely love are these roadmaps. Okay, uh, so I, instead yes. of giving handouts and mm -hmm. another set of great recipes, what I actually do is give you a planning tool and it, it's, it's a roadmap and it runs in a couple of different ways. The first way is you can use these roadmaps that simplify very complex ideas that you're trying to translate, whether it's in nutrition science or the culinary side. It, it actually distills them onto one sheet of paper that you can use in it as an educational tool, whether you're talking science or culinary, as I just said. So that's number one. The other kind of roadmaps that you'll see will be these sort of what I call integrative planning roadmaps, where they're set out as sort of um, frameworks, if you will, for you to add your information or you add your advice into them. But the bottom line is they lay out a, a, a strategy for your clients, whether it's um, implementing your advice or translating your culinary ideas. In other words, what the culinary side of this entire program does for you is it gives you frameworks, as I'm noting here. It gives you culinary frameworks, it gives you planning protocols, it gives you recipe Rolodexes. I give you customized menu planning tools. Again, you're not a chef. Most if you're not going to walk into a kitchen and start devising recipes, what you need are quick tools that get nutrition science onto Absolutely. someone's plate. And that's Absolutely. mostly what you're going to get out of this. Um, these four, uh, four two-hour lectures or presentations that I present to you, um, and again, the highlight probably being these these road maps that flip uh, between what I'm trying to tell you. There you go. Oh, and, and the advice. Yay. And I was so going to ask course, if you had one to I'm show going, us. <laughs> here's a road map. Now, of course, this looks like, oh, what is that, Amanda? We go into extensive details as to what this road map is. And this happens to be a road map that explains, a, 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 uh, it's an example of a culinary framework that you can devise for your practice. So this might be about an hour of conversation. They literally okay. show you how can you build a ready-to-go culinary framework into your practice that you can grab and your clients can go with. And here's an example 
example of a more complex map um, that I'm showing you where here we're talking about detoxification and um, th this would be a tool you, you might use for yourself or might use with your patients to explain just how in-depth and how serious we are about eating a large variety of foods um, mm. because all these foods drive into the different phases yes. of detoxification. So, Really, if you're, if you're looking for structure, you're looking for framework, you're looking for tools, and you're looking for resources to help your clients go like that last 10% or, or get across that no man's land, that's what culinary is going to go do for you um, as a Texas IFMNT program. And no, you can't get it anywhere else because no one's doing culinary for IFMNT. Um, Susan's ahead in her field in the training she's offering, um, and I think that um, you know the culinary expression of what Susan has created for your training uh, puts you head and shoulders, in fact, like football fields ahead of pretty much anybody else in the field. Well, I can That's see we can you. see that. I mean, we this is this <laughs> is what I wanted people to see. I mean, look, guys, you can see how useful this is already. And when is the last time you ever saw anything like this? I have never seen anything like this. And this is an example of what's blowing people away. And you're right. We are definitely at the leading edge of this. I really don't be believe that anybody else is putting it together like like this is and how useful is it at this point it's so it just makes it so user friendly it's not a concept anymore it's a reality and the reality is made user friendly with your roadmaps we love it we love it we love it and aren't we the dynamic duo i love it <laughs> <laughs> well it's a great partnership and i appreciate it susan and just to kind of finish on my end and pass it off to you here um just um in the, what you'll learn from the course, you have kind of talked about the tools and the resources and the strategy, but we then take all these strategies and we put them into action, which is why I call this Applied Culinary for IFMNT. We take everything that you're learning and we apply it to this kind of this specialty area. So you're going to see roadmaps for inflammation, roadmaps for detox. You'll see me translate the culinary tools into detox. Uh, into, or into cardiometabolic protocols, you can see these ingredients fly through the science onto plates. And that's what the roadmaps do, and I think that's truly yeah. what makes this unique. So whether you're a chef or not, you will not learn this in culinary school, and you didn't learn it at university, so that's why we're bringing it to you. Well. And there you go. There you have it. Uh, so that's an excellent basis, I think, for uh, everyone to see the value here and to understand why these two uh, components come together so nicely. And I think this is exactly what we needed to be able to uh, illustrate it. It's not enough to just say it. You have to see it. And, and you've done a lovely job, Amanda, of, of uh, allowing us to get a peek into what it is that the culinary portion brings to this training. Uh, I'm so pleased to have you involved and so is everyone else who takes the course, that's for sure. Thank so thank you, you very thank much you. for uh, spending a little bit of time with us here today, Amanda, and I think that uh, the next time we see you, we'll be in training. We will. Thank you. All right. Take care. Thanks.